we actually made a work, but there's more to the story to it. Uh, Hera and I, well, she, I have been a nurse for a while now, and when I got into work, there was a brand new set of new nurses, and uh, they paired us up, and they paired me up with a different nurse, and they paired her up with an older nurse, which is a good friend of mine. And then I always make a point to actually go around the nurse's station to talk to this elder nurse and ask her questions just so I can get a glance of her. But the story didn't end there because, you know, we didn't really talk much. I actually thought she didn't like me. But uh, one time I was out of town in Saratoga and uh, so was she. And then I kind of bumped into her at this club that now is called the Reserve. It used to be the paddock, that's what it used to be. And uh, she stopped me in the middle of the hall. I think she's been drinking a little bit. And <laughs> she said, hey, I know you were a very loud pitch voice. And I said, yes, we work together. And we exchanged phone numbers and then, you know, we went back to work. And uh, for, you know, odd reasons, Again, I've just came back from vacation and they told me, hey, you have a new percepti a, a new RNT. And it was her. So after that, we became really good friends and then the rest is just history. Mike told me originally that we were going to a family reunion with his family in Peru. In the morning we were leaving, he told me that we were actually going to Hawaii. I had to plan this out because Becca, she picked things up just like this. So if I'm trying to hide something from her, she will know. So I had to get everybody involved, my mom, my dad, my brother, my future sister-in-law, uh, my sister and my brother-in-law. He wanted to go to a private beach because he thought, heard that the sunset was amazing there. I asked this photographer to take a picture of us uh, together with my phone because she thought we looked nice. You know, we had also this planned out. She was gonna be this tourist there hanging out, this uh, art major with her camera and everything. And she was gonna come up to us and say that we look nice and to take a picture. So she didn't know anything, obviously. And she actually thought it was weird that somebody will ask us to take a picture of us together just because we simply look nice. Uh, so she took a picture of us with her camera and I said, well, will you take a picture with me with my phone? which she did, and then she grabbed her camera again, and then I turned to her and I, you know. I mean, I had this whole thing planned out as of what to tell her, and I couldn't because I was so filled with emotions that I just kind of said her name, you know, Rebecca, would you please marry me? Just treats me very well, and you don't find that a lot, and I know that we can get through anything together. She has a big heart. She has, she has, and sometimes you could be here with me because she has this heart of gold, I'd say. She just never knows, she always gives everybody the benefit of the doubt. She, uh, she thinks everybody's a good person, uh, but she has an amazing heart. She will just help anyone and give, you know, the show her back if she has to. Even if she doesn't have to, she will do that. Loving, and I always use the term good guy. He's just, he really is truly one of a kind. That's love for me. Her, I mean, I always thought I was in love, but until I met her, I really knew what love was. So love for me is, is her is a definition of love. Being together, uh, you know, me going where I want to go with my career, her want, you know, I want her to go where she wants to be with her career. I want to see her happy and I know she wants to see me happy. So in the future, you, you never know what's going to be awaiting for us, where we're going to be. But as long as we're together, I know things are going to be okay. He is very straightforward and I know that doesn't sound like a good quality, but it really truly is. I always know what he's thinking and feeling, whether it's bad or good. She has this smile that like you can just tell a lot by it. And she has this look on her eyes that you can actually just tell the way she's feeling, whether she's confused, whether she's happy, whether she's upset. But her smile is just, just amazing. He treats me like a queen. He, he's just a, an overall good guy. You know, we sacrifice a lot together. And, 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 and she does sacrifice a lot for me because we don't spend much time together, obviously. You know, we have opposite schedules. And the days that I'm off and that she's off, I mean, um, practicing patience. And sometimes I don't get home till like five, six in the afternoon and she's tired or I'm tired. So I love about her that she supports me 100% in any decision that I want to take, whether I want to be a doctor, whether I want to be a nurse practitioner, even if I want to be a mechanic, she will say it's going to be okay. So that's why.